it's complicated. Okay. Anyway, these were the these were the refrigerators for the original dairy. So they would milk the cows and. I was going to say we're going to keep the high schoolers in there. there. Yeah. That was before there was refrigeration. So these used to be uh, ice blocks. Ice blocks. And we're going to wander on down this way, but really watch your step because uh, the floor is very uneven here. I'll leave that open for you. Okay. So watch your stepping here. Uh, step up here. <laughs> Well, there'll be a lot more parking, so that's one of the nice things about it. So there'll be parking right there. Yeah, you might have missed that. I talked to him about that before. Okay. Yeah. It's because, well, if everybody wants to hear, yeah. it's from the scenic corridor. The city of Livermore has a uh, regulation that you have to build under a view angle from the freeway. Yeah, so we can't, we can't build the building right next to the freeway as it is anyway. Yeah. So. And in fact, we're putting some grapevines out there, and it'll be a, kind of a nice view. And the people driving on the freeway will still be able to see the building quite easily because it actually kind of goes up there. So even though there's that view angle, you can still see it. But this is where the uh, cows were milked. So they would be brought in here and there were um, stanchions to put their heads between. And they would get the milking machine and the milk would be pasteurized and pulled down very quickly. Put in the bottles on the other side of that area where the refrigeration was before they were loaded into the trucks. The, um, Interesting thing about this building, again, because it's already here, we can use this. Now, we'll probably do something to the floor to keep it a little easier to deal with and maybe remove some of these pipes. It's not a problem for me, but you know, if we have high school kids in here, it'd be pretty crazy. Uh, but uh, there's all kinds of things that we can do with this area. Now, I know one of, um, of um, Dave's visions for this area back here is to really fix it up very nicely to kind of watch it walk out here. Much better here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. well, you, well, that's a fine art, and I don't want to go into that at the moment. But you got to keep, you know, if you were to if you were to tear out all the foundation and do everything, you couldn't pour a new foundation. So you need to leave a lot of stuff in there. Um, I just yeah. So, so the old buildings are exempt to the newer laws. Right. Yeah. Right. But we can repair them mm -hmm. and refurbish them. Yeah. We just can't build new ones. So there's, you know, again, well, the there's a lot of details. The, the, there's five agencies that regulate the creek. There's five agencies that regulate the creek. And those five agencies, once the church got a permit out here, have drawn a line around the creek within which you cannot build. Yeah. So pretty much er almost every building on this property is captured within that line. And uh, so if we tear the buildings down, uh, we're not allowed to rebuild them. So, but we can refurbish them and reuse them as long as we want. No problem doing that because they pre-exist that regulation. Um, but, you know, it kind of gives us extra square footage in a sense mm. to keep using these. Plus, I mean, we just like the old history that, you know. Yeah. Can you right? add on to them? Uh, you cannot add on to them. You cannot make them any bigger than they are currently. But we can, you know, bring them up to code and all that. So that's why, again, if you have a builder's eye, you might say, you know, it'd be easier just to knock them all down and start over again, but we can't do that. Mm -hmm. So in order to keep this stuff, we're going to work with refurbishing. Now, Dave mentioned to me, like, out here, you know, it looks really junky right now, but try to imagine, throw all this debris away out here, and, you know, I have these nice trees. Imagine having, like, a, yeah. a wedding reception out here. Mm -hmm. uh, that bridge over there used to be where the cows would come across <laughs> to be milked. So they'd come over from that side, and they'd be milked out here, and then they'd go back. Uh, that particular bridge, I believe, is coming down. We have to take some of the bridges down, rebuild some others to new standards, and that was part of the negotiations for the whole development project. Any questions about that? So you are allowed to build any bridges in that zone? Again, there's a lot of <laughs> delicate negotiations that have to be done, and that's why it's taken as long as it has. And Dave's done a great job with that. We had to get permits from 15 different government agencies. 
<laughs> See, Dave remembers those precise figures. <laughs> I just know it's like, oh, I'm glad I don't have that job. So when, whenever you think, gosh, why is it taking so long? That's why. Well, because there are so many problems to solve out here. That's basically why these properties are in developed. So, you know, you have a, a floodplain problem with the creeks that are out here. There's endangered species that you have to overcome. There's easements for some of these public utilities that you have to avoid. You know, there's infrastructure to put in here because there's no the sewer. Uh, watch your step through here because, uh, again, it's uneven, a little bit of pipe sticking up. But, I mean, the, the sewer line we have to pick up is a mile and a half that way. The water line is a mile and a quarter that way. I walk right here all the time. All right. <laughs> Um, historical preservation society interested in yeah so what happened was uh, the church wanted to make sure that if we wanted to tear any buildings down we could and so the city of Livermore has a historical preservation committee which we processed all these buildings through and the city determined that none of these buildings are historically significant enough yes. to designate them as you know you must keep them Well, they were interested. They gave me a list of things they wanted off the buildings. And uh, a week after I got the list, those items disappeared. So I don't know what happened. Well, look over here underneath this eave. See all that kind of junk back there? Imagine this whole area filled up with, actually, that's cleaner than it was two weeks ago. Imagine this whole area back here and all the area back there just filled up with all kinds of junk and leftover stuff from all these guys hanging out here over this time. Now we have replaced some of the beams in this bridge, but I assure you that it's strong enough to be far. Some gravel trucks come over here. Now, this barn here, you might notice it's made up a lot of different timbers, kind of, they're all beat up and so on. Um, you know, farming guys, they were very uh, innovative and entrepreneurial, so you all have heard of Hetch Hetchy Dam, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they built Hetch Hetchy. To, to build the dam, they, the government built the whole city out there for the workers. And when they finished building the dam, they auctioned off all the houses, and I think they sold them for like a dollar a piece. And so the brothers went up and tore down a bunch of the houses, and they used a lot of that wood in building this barn. So that's what's left over. That's nice. Now, the bridge you came over at first when you came down along, um, uh, when you parked, that first bridge that you came over, the, if you look at it, you'll see railroad ties there and some of you may remember that the Oakland Bay Bridge used to have a railroad going across it, trains. When they tore up the tracks these guys went and they got all those timbers and so the timbers are there and if you look at them you can see there's notches in the side where the rails were put out and so those are kind of leftover historical bits of uh, the Bay Area uh, mm. you know, history. And then out here on the other side of where that fence is is kind of that city land over there next to the golf course. 